President Joe Biden says he's determined to stay in the 2024 race. His commitment came during a highly anticipated press conference at the end of the NATO summit. As ABC's M. Wynn explains, the president believes he's still the best candidate to beat former President Donald Trump in November. Tonight, President Biden in his first unscripted news conference in eight months. A critical test as voters are closely focused on the president's age, health and acuity. The best way to assure them is the way I assure myself. And that is, am I getting the job done? Am I getting the job done? In the face of increasing questions about whether he should continue his bid for re-election. I'm determined on running, but I think it's important that I, real, I lay fears by seeing, let them see me out there. But the president flubbing his first answer. Look, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president, but I think she's not qualified to be president. So let's start there. Minutes before the news conference, another gaffe. Biden mistakenly calling Ukrainian President Zelensky Putin, Russia's president. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. <laughs> president Putin. He's going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. The president's offering up an explanation. I was talking about Putin and I said, and now, at the very end, I said, here, I mean Putin. I said, no, I'm sorry, Zelensky. Our national poll shows even after that disastrous debate, the president remains locked in a dead heat with Trump, 46 to 47. But now more than a dozen Democrats in Congress are publicly calling for President Biden to step aside from his re-election bid. M1, ABC News, Washington. And just in the last two hours, we heard from Representative Eric Sorensen. He's now joining other Democrats, calling on the president to drop out of the race. In a statement tonight, Sorensen says he's asking Biden to, quote, put country over party. Sorensen also says the Democratic candidate must communicate a positive vision for all Americans and stand up to threats against democracy. And you can read more about the president's comments today on our website right now. We also have a link to his complete address in that story as well.